Now, in order to make this really work out well, you need to remove as much stuff from your device under test, which usually is your radio. You're trying to test your transmitter's output power. But you might also be trying to test your antenna match. Who knows? So, oh, to that end, I'll be using some ABR coax. And these are 1.5 foot jumpers. Uh, this is their RG8X product. And then I have a host of dummy loads. I have my old trusty cell wave dummy load. This was pulled from a cell tower site. It's got an end connector on it and goes to a PL a SO239 so I can do PL259 work. And then this guy here is a BNC inductive tap. And underneath there's this little black box and in here there's this loop of wire that goes from the BNC connector and it just kind of goes past the end connector here in order to be able to sample what's going on without overpowering your, your meter device. And then I've got these little dummy loads here. We're not going to test all of them, but this one's SMA male and I've got a, a female union in it. So it's quick and ready for me to gain access to. This one is rated at 10 watts. This one here has got a PL259 on it and it is an old fashioned realistic Radio Shack brand. And this one is rated at 15 watts. And then the big boy. This one's brand new to the shack here. This one is a 100 watt dummy load and it runs from DC zero megahertz to one gigahertz and it's supposed to be 50 ohms the whole way out. So this will eliminate one piece of coax. This one, I can kind of eliminate the coax, but I kind of don't want to eliminate the coax because that's a lot of weight hanging off of the, the back of the meter. And kind of this is too. So we'll see where we where we land with these guys here. 